Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading for July 22nd to July 28th, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we can jump straight away uh, to the reading. Just let me mute my computer. All right. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic uh, for Libra week, this is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which represents the challenges that you Libra needs to overcome throughout the week. This is going to be the Page of Swords. <clears throat> Afterwards, what we have, it is the positive aspect of the week, and that will be the Page of Pentacles. And then the last one, uh, which uh, it refers to the guidance that you should follow throughout the week or the guidance that Taro has for you for this week is going to be the Five of Wands. Very interesting. So this week is not going to, well, it's going to relate to you, all right, but it's not, you are not going to be the main figure in it. Uh, for what it seems with this... Um, with this reading is that there are going to be uh, a two forces clashing and you just so happens to be in the middle of it. And uh, the best thing is to stay neutral. That is the best way how you can deal with uh, the, the, the situation or how you can go through all that with a minimum negative impact. If all a negative impact is to be a result that's of, of the fact that you are going to be in between those forces, let's say your parents fight, a um, <clears throat> couple of co-workers are fighting into uh, into your career and they're involving you into their matters and etc, etc. So, um, the topic itself here, Six of Pentacles, it does speak that no matter what side you take, you ain't gonna make any difference for the better. And you will have to suffer the consequences on, from the other, on the other hand, for taking this specific side. As a matter of fact, the Six of Pentacles here asks you to go with the flow, or in another words, do not take a shore, do not take a side, be in the middle, all right? Always be neutral and uh, do not allow any of the sides to use you for their personal means. Either one of your parents, you know, or, or one of your friends, or, or one of your co-workers as well, and etc, etc. <clears throat> And like I said, that is for the reason being is because you cannot do anything about it. I mean, you cannot alter the outcome of these two sides fighting. The accompanied card here is going to be uh, the uh, chariot card. So the formation, it is a passive friend. And the chariot here speaks about independence, which is another confirmation of that you need to maintain neutrality uh, throughout this uh, throughout this period of time where you are just finding yourself or happen to be in the eye of the storm, a storm created from two people 
or two groups of people which both of them are there to your heart or it's just like you know you you just feel equal emotions toward both of these people and it's simply you cannot take a side all right <clears throat> even if these people are urging you to do so here with these couple of cards neutrality it is the best course of action in regards to the endeavors which are awaiting you in this week july 22nd to uh, july 28 2019 basically what these couple of cards are, are saying is mind your own business all right what the other do to themselves it does not concern you whatsoever what concerns you is how this affects you especially in a negative way because the way i see it here uh, if you take a side only negative consequences are to come um, for you to bear so this is the only concern that you should have and instead of wasting time and energy upon a uh, something that first is not your to push yours to push through and secondly you have not contributed whatsoever for the situation or reason you know to pay the price for the stupidity of someone else so the next couple of cards are the two people, all right? One comes as a challenging, the other one is in a positive position. And it is in a positive position because if anything else, this person, it is the one who can uh, basically, how can I place it, deteriorate the tension, all right? Or based on his efforts, the, the tension could be deteriorated. So the first person here, it is the Page of Swords, very intellectually agile. That is someone who is open-minded. And I do suspect that this is the one who provoked the whole thing simply for the fact that they see nothing wrong um, in it. Or even if there is something wrong in it, they do have the arguments to support their actions. You know, for example, they cheated on, let's say that, you know, you do have two friends which are together, one cheated on the other and that is found out so they everybody every one of them is trying to attract you on their side you know in this argument but this person which cheated right now pulls out the argument that they cheated because either they uh, they have not been uh, rewarded with attention so the other person could not fulfill its duty in the relationship or they cheated because the other person cheated before all right so there th th these arguments are going to be pretty solid all right and it's going to be very difficult one to overcome those uh, those arguments and that's why it's a challenging position because this person page of swords is not going to hear any of what the other is going to say i mean they they're going to be pretty determined that they are in their right to do what they are doing right now as an opposing force of the other one the accompanied card here is going to be the tree of swords and they definitely are doing it out of grief or with intention of retribution and intention of revenge and i am very tempted to say that this is justified right with these two cards definitely what they have experienced back in the days it's uh uh, it's something that uh, very little people want to experience. This this person here looks like a wounded animal, right? And when you corner a wounded animal, what you get? It's a backlash. It's it's a ferocious instinct. Let's say that way. It's uh, it's like they they become unpredictable, and this is what that person is going to be. Very very difficult to overcome. Very difficult to predict. All right, and very difficult to argue and fight against in any means. Okay, so it seems that that will be a bit overwhelming here, Libra. Um, and what I can advise you is just keep your distance out of this person. It's just do not allow them to uh, to attract you with their sweet talks. It's not even sweet talks. Well, their name of the game is going to be like twisting the fictions in facts, right? Or it's kind of like, well, the arguments are going to be real, right? But they are going to over-exaggerate the arguments themselves and even they may make up something to support those arguments additionally. But that does not me uh, make them less uh, does not make their actions less justified, right?
just so keep this one in mind. So this, this leads us to the other person, which uh, is the other side of the story, and that will be the Page of Pentacles. So I really feel for this guy or a girl. It is because maybe they have done mistake, and we are seeing this circumstantially here with the previous cards. Maybe that mistake was unconscious. For example, they could be devoured in their career, and that's why they forgot to fulfill their uh, their duties and responsibilities into the relationship or it's just they didn't have the mood because it is very stressful into their career and etc etc right but that does not make them less responsible for what is happening between these two people or these two groups of people all right but the thing here this one comes in a positive position, it is because this one is reasonable, all right? This one is willing to forgive, this one is willing to succumb to the other one, to the demands and to the um, rules that the, otherwise, that the other one imply, implies, because with the Page of Swords, if it is not their way, it's not going to be a way at all, all right? Especially with the Three of Swords here, is because, like I said, they look like a wounded animal and they think and probably th that is the correct way to say it is that they don't have anything to lose anymore so the page of pentacles which is the other person is going to approach the situation reasonable maybe a bit emotional at the start all right because they are seeing their hopes ringing down okay but afterwards they are going to sober themselves pretty quickly and uh from there uh probably they will try to find a way, you know, how they can at least salvage the situation or if there is anything they can do to save the day. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the death card and that is a uh, formation, it is a uh, passive friends and even more, they are willing completely to change their behavior, to change their lifestyle, you know, to change their habits as well because they do recognize, you know, what, what, what is the root of the issue? And above everything else, this one is not someone who afraid to say, yes, it was my mistake, all right? It's my fault. So here it is. It was what it was, all right? Thinking about it is not going to fix it. Uh, yesterday is yesterday and trying to recapture it, it's only going to make us to lose tomorrow. So let's sit down and think about what we can do. Is this thing salvageable? Is this thing beyond you know salvation or anything like that and they are going to be willing to do whatever it takes with these couple of cards you know to make the situation work or to save one's marriage to save one's friendship for example to save one's uh, relationship you know or career good attitude and etc etc and here we are coming to an, an individual standpoint, all right? It does depend what the intentions of the first person here, which is the challenging one, are going to be. Because in some of the cases, the first person is going to find this as an excuse to completely annihilate the second one, okay? So this page of swords with the tree of swords, they do have the upper hand in this confrontation because simple fact, they have nothing to lose as a matter of fact for some of them that could have been the the way out <clears throat> they could be in this relationship all right for example and they did not want that relationship any longer but they didn't found the means up until this moment to break that relationship and now they are finding those means and oh my god guys it's gonna be um ferocious all right it's going to be I, I, don't, I don't even have a word to describe it. Now, this page of swords is going to storm everything out. He's going to yell. He's going to, uh, he's going to shriek. He's going to accuse. He's going to make that thing hurt. The, the, the other one is going to really feel the pain here for what it seems. So the guidance, which is the card, the other card that relates to you, all right, that is the five of wands. Do not presume that is the guidance. You don't know the real truth. You don't know anything about it, as a matter of fact, because this war up until this moment have led without your knowledge, for example, or without your contribution. And right now, the situation may seem one way, 
all right but what led to it it's completely different story so that point here the point with the five of five with the five of wands is that you should not be biased by that situation that you are to find yourself in throughout the week and that is another reason why you should not take sides taking sides is going to you are going to make it worse for yourself and for the situation itself i mean if the situation have even a shred of chance to be fixed should you take a side this chance is gone right and then we do have the two of pentacles which is the catalyst here formation it is a active neutrals neutrals yeah and uh basically the two of pentacles is a very weak card into this um into this combination uh it's simply it's simply strengthening the uh, it's saying the five of wands in a different manner and in a different way it's just only points that you uh, if you are biased all right uh, your bias it your biased uh standpoint is going to change over the course of the events for example today you may be biased for your friend all right for the friend number one and tomorrow you are going to hear another information and your bias some standpoint is going to shift to the other friend and then on the other day you are going to hear different kind of an information and it's just it's going to be back and forth and you are going to once again find it very difficult to take a side but you may also find it uh, that you are obliged to take a side which you aren't so whatever it's whatever is happening to you liberal throughout the week whatever the clash you are going to find yourself in the middle at do not take a side this is not a battle that you have to win this is not your war okay even if you are dragged into it against your will so that being said this was your weekly tarot reading guys i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we're going to see each other around until then bye